Welcome to Zoe and our video series about creating a store. In this first video we're going to take a closer look into categories. I take as an example a clothing store, but this really applies to any kind of store. Whether you're setting up a store for the first time or you're revamping your store after a migration, you need a good category structure and information. A well thought category content such as description, images and products is key to keep the visitors in your store and ultimately having them go to the checkout. Here you see a header navigation with top level links and a drop down menu. The drop down links are subcategories. You can have up to three levels displayed in the header navigation. Let's see how to create all this. In your control panel, go to products. From there, click on categories. Click add category and enter the category name. Then save. You can add subcategories to other categories by dragging them into one another and by doing so it becomes a folder or just click on the plus icon to add directly a subcategory within. You can always rearrange the sort order and drag them into a folder or out of it. Let's take a look at the category settings. Set the category to enabled or disabled by checking or unchecking the box. Select whether you want to show or hide the category link in the header navigation or decide whether you want to display all products from subcategories in this category page. You can enter a description in the overview field, add a main image and thumbnail, assign a category design template or change the search engine information. You also need to review the category template and edit my design. If you want to display the category title, description or image, make sure you add the category description block, the category image block and the category title block to your template. In case you want to use multiple category templates, go to Edit my design, duplicate the default template and edit the new category template further. You can now remove blocks you don't need. If you have subcategories, you can use the subcategory list block to show them with images and titles on the front end. When ready, publish your category template, go back to your category settings and assign it to your category. The final step is managing your products within each category. Click on Manage Products. In a new page, start typing a SKU to search for your products. You can add them individually or select multiple items and add them at the same time. Set a specific sort order. If manual is selected, you can drag the products into the desired order. When you're ready, save your changes. Make sure to go to Advanced and refresh your store to display the changes on the front end. You can see now a category structure with subcategories, category information and products. You are now ready to create more products, but we keep this for another video. For more information, visit support.zoe.com. Thank you for watching.